Leave one in there, I reckon. Oh, Jesus! Holy moly, I didn't see that at all. <laughs> that scared the bloody... Holy moly, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Yeah. Right, you mob. It's been ages between videos. I'm sorry, but I thought why not chuck up another video just before the bow season finishes. So, see if we can get a few top water Mondays. Water starting to heat up a little bit. So, hopefully the jacks are here to play as well. It seems like there's a bit of humidity around. Water temperatures starting to creep up towards the high twenties. So. Let's see if we can't get this little fella in a bit of trouble. So, let's go. Oh, Jesus. That's a really good start of the morning east in the snag there. How'd you come? There we go. That's <laughs> not a bad start at all. Whew. Yeah, yeah, very nice. <laughs> very, very nice. What a start. Nice little one on the top. Probably about 40 centimetres long. Absolutely smashed the frog. Sick, mate. All right, a few picks and uh, we'll get you out of here, fella. Hey, hey. All right, let go. Bro, what are you doing, man? Let go. See ya, buddy. So I've just released that fella. Water seems to be a good height. It's uh, draining away, so not leaving much room for the for the jacks and the barrels to hide. So we'll work along this bank and see what we can't come up with. There's jacks and barras absolutely everywhere here. And the camera just went off. I'm in the mud. We've got him here. He's not a, another, he's not that bad. He's quite good. Oh, well, there you go. Number two of the morning. I don't even think it's seven o'clock yet. The bar is open, so. <laughs> Got him again. There's a few of them sitting there in the shallows. This is that last bit of the tide seems to be um, running out. There's a few barrow mixed in there too, so let's see if we can't get a few more for this fella. Ready, mate? Away he goes. All right, now because this frog is so munted, what tends to happen is the toe point hole, the front hole gets a bit loose on the hook, hence your frog always sliding down the hook. So I'll just take it out, repin it, make a new hole. That one's a little less worn, 
and put it through there. That hole's nice and tight. It's kind of like having a new girlfriend, I guess. So, see if she has the same effect. Let's go. I think there's a couple of fish up there. That's where I wanted it. Oh, get out of it. Oh, oh God, you look at them all. One of them dopey, dopey brim. <laughs> look at them all. Oh. Hey, frogging for brim. That's where it's at. A few fish up there. The nice jack, I can see it. There he goes. There goes a barra, there's a barra. There's barrows and there's jacks everywhere up there. Holy moly. In you come, son. Jesus. Not bad. Relax, bro. Relax. Mm -hmm. Love a little hinchy bar. Off you go. Oof. That there. Oh, that just jammed into my hand. That's not real good. Oh, it's all happens, all panic stations. Alright, try that again. There. That was a nice jack up there. But I think he'd seen us. He wasn't 100% committed. I still see a fish sitting there. Looks like a bar. Not interested. Sitting right there. I don't know if you guys can see him. Might be a bit hard with a GoPro lens. Oh, that's over the tail of him. Yeah, he just took him off there, see? Big plume of dirt. Wasn't really interested in eating, so... One way of showing you guys at home is where he was, rather than where he is. Water's only pretty shallow here. Oh, there's a heap of bait. One just spooked right there. Look at that. Just spooked him. You can see where he was sitting. Oh, that is the shittest cast. I don't you take your eyes off the prize. Oh, pop that one in the chest. We're still good. We're still good. That's where he wanted it. He might be a bit shy on this flat now because the jacks had to go at the frog. Oh, the barrow's just taken off right there. Quarter barrow, so he would have put the others on high alert. That's the problem with uh, flats fishing, I guess, is the fish are on high alert generally. They're pretty vulnerable. So once you get one, even if there is two, three, or even ten of them, if you hook one of them, they tend to um, tend to spook, spook the rest of them. So if you can see them and you have the chance or the opportunity to pick the biggest one, go for the biggest one.
that boy was. Oh, that's a jack. That was a pretty, pretty half ass attempt, if you ask me. Nope, just spooked a couple. You went in there, I reckon. Oh, Jesus! Holy moly, I didn't see that at all. <laughs> that scared the bloody, holy moly, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh my goodness. Holy moly. Whee. Whoo. 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 Gee, I'll tell you what, this. <laughs> Oh, this type of fishing, gee whiz, it's the best. <sighs> Holy moly, I didn't... What's happening here? Oh, fucking hell. All right, Jim, famous last words. Oh, there's a jack. Oh, there's some more jacks. A few jacks there, a few jacks there. Oh. Bugger. Oh! Oh, gee whiz! Yeah, well, there's a, there's a barra. Yeah, well, there's a, there's a barra. Geez, we're in some tight country here. Not a bad fish. Don't do that, don't do that. Come back out the way you came, that's it. No, no, no. There we go. Jesus. Yeah, right. So there you have it. Hmm. What's all happening here, ladies and gentlemen? Oh. Uh. <sighs> How do we go with that? How do we go with that for some tight country? Hey, look at the mud sitting on the bottom of her. Him. Oh, could be. Who knows? Gee. We there you go. Not a bad little jundi. Probably about 65. On the frog. There you go. You guys saw it. Kind of wasn't expecting it. Not bad, considering the type of country we're in here. The bloody <laughs> the sand flies are very friendly, that's for sure. Let's hope these guys are a bit more friendly. Ah, what are you doing? Bro, that hurt. What the fuck that is? Oh. 
That's what stinks. Bit of prawn. I'm getting back. See you, buddy. There's a jack. Out to come, out to come. Pull you through the sticks. Oh, there's another jack with him. That's cool. Come here, dude. Yeah, he's not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Are you, buddy? Yeah, of course. Yep, standard. Yep, just relax. Bro. Sweet. Yeah, nice one. Don't be silly. Not bad at all. Could easily just net this guy, but I like this one getting in their hand. There we go. Really good fish. Really, really good fish. There you go. Not a bad one. Pretty stoked with that actually. Not a bad way to finish the season. Not bad at all. It's probably, I don't know, high 80s, mid to 80s. Perfect. Get a few photos and then um yeah we'll get this guy back see you in a few months mate see you buddy Ripper. Hello there, fella. So you've absolutely engulfed that lure. And you come into the net. Look at that. Steady on. So, another one on the deck. Whew. <laughs> always the way, always seem to smack them just as the season closes, eh? Oh, well. Making it a long few months, boys, I tell you. Splash.
There he goes. Where are you going? Ain't a good fish. It's got one of these bloody, I don't know what you call them, goats or toads from uh from that company that's got the really stretchy plastic <laughs> and um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut i don't know if you can see it i'm gonna cut that first little nodule off there what I'm gonna do a set of rusty scissors i'm gonna cut it on a bit of an angle not too much just like that All right, just like that, and um, add a bit of a little, a bit more splash, a bit more of a cut face, a bit more of a popper kind of action there. So push a bit, disperse a little bit more water. So we'll try that and give that a go and see if we can't get a couple of top water reds and some jundies. Forgot to show you how to rig them up. Rig them up is going to be the same. Five o worm hook there, little loop knot. So get it in there, roughly about centre, put it in straight, just like that, and come out probably about six to ten mil, roughly the length of your um, neck of your hook here, pull it in, pull it through, turn it over, just like that, and then um, push it up through the back, like that. And there you go. These ones don't have a um, a recessed edge in them like the uh, pop frogs do. So never mind. We'll just hook the top bit of skin in there like that, and there you go. Completely weedless and uh, ready to get absolutely chewed. <sighs> Oh yes, oh, mm. You can see that little bit of cupping, that cut, cut nose on that lure. This is a, a bit more of a louder popping sort of action. So I can pop it and pause, or I can just burn it. Just like that. Oh, I dropped him. Oh. <laughs> that was a great little take. That was so sick. So sick. The old long cast. Standard. Camera's always off. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty solid jack, man. Pretty solid. Not a bad way to finish. But we managed to get a few on surface. Finishing the day, 46 centimeters, top water. Doesn't get any better than that. So, we'll get this guy back, take a few pics. Hey, don't try and bite me. You're a good boy. And I love ya.